Peanut, I have a good feeling about today. The sun is out, people are happy, the birds are singing. You see? Beep. Attention, seven and seven employees. Until further notice, Phil will be taking his annual vacation. Beep. But we just got this memo indicating that annual vacations have been suspended. Beep. That's where he wrote the memo. The following is a pre-recorded message from Phil Ken Seven. Beep. How long's the trip? Annual means year, Birdman. Which is, I don't need to tell you, a sun-baked, sybaritic, cocoa butter slathered eternity. Meaning, I need someone to take over while I'm gone. Yes? While I leave my roost, I'll need someone powerful to occupy the perch. A cock of the walk, if you will. Someone to keep this place soaring. To that end, I'll be handing over the reins for an entire year to everyone's favorite feathered fellow, <gasps> Blue Falcone. <laughs> Falcone? What's he have that I don't? Ah, uh, take a little look-see. Sexy accent, vacay moon timeshares in the Caymans, meaningful bond with Phil, and, oh yeah, control over 7 and 7. So, adios, arrivederci, auf Wiedersehen, dos madonna, salute, and as they say in J-Town, sayonara! <laughs> You? Already? Where's Phil? Is this another trick? I am afraid not, my feathered friend. But rejoice, for I am a beneficent ruler. You will see. Now, it is time for you to leave my presence. Benevolent teeny ruler, huh? Then maybe you'd be willing to give a dedicated employee a bit of a raise. Oh, this I cannot do. But... I can give you something. Yes? I give you... Make party! Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Claw. I mean, we may as well make the best of this, right? Okay. I have something for you. Fine. I'm leaving. I regretfully accept your resignation. I'm not quitting. I'm just leaving. Your office. But you just tendered the resignation, no? Tender? I didn't tender anything. What does that even mean? You can't tender things. I can tenderize anything. I'm leaving. But not quitting. I'll take the beef strong enough. Ooh, I think I'll try the sweet and sour tofu. Oh, oh, oh. What, what is this stuff? <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> And the little note says to Harry Birdman, How nice. Thank you for thinking of me.
may be wondering why you have been summoned. Let me tell you. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Did you know that someone removed all the toilets and replaced them with buckets? See, si. Unfortunately, just another cut back we had to make to keep the business running. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. It would cost more money to have the toilets removed and then buy the buckets to replace them. Oh, <laughs> Birdman. I can see now why Phil left me in charge. What happened to the cafeteria food? You are not happy with the food? No, to both. I'm not happy, and that's not food. Oh, that is too bad. You see, I've had to make certain cutbacks. Why did everyone but me get company stocks? Did they? Yes, that's what Potamus said. Interesting. So, did they get the stocks? No. No? Yes. Was that a yes to them getting stocks, or was that a yes to my no? Birdman, you confuse me with your language. Please, let's move on to more important issues. So why are you making cutbacks? Is the company in danger? I didn't want to worry anyone, but yes. We need to make sacrifices just to keep the doors open. Is there anything I can do? But of course. You are our most trusted employee. I need you to hire three lawyers for a special case coming up. The best you can find. But if we're in financial trouble, should we be hiring expensive lawyers? This is not a full-time job, Birdman. I just need the best lawyers for this one case. I am counting on you. Three lawyers? Easy. I know just where to find them. Good luck, Birdman. If you succeed in this, I will deposit a bonus in your bank account. How's Freezoid, Zarag, and Scott treating him? Harv! Could be better. Zarag keeps cranking the heat, and Scott is constantly calling in sick. Hey, just thinking off the top of my head, but uh, what would you think about trying a case for 7 and 7? Hmm. Well, it kind of doesn't make sense for me to leave my own law firm for a case. On the other hand, my electricity bill's insane, so I might consider the offer if my office was conditioned to a comfortable 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I could do that. I think. I'll let you know. Stan Freezoid at your service. Nice article of clothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's it, Birdman. You're not invited to my house for Yontif anymore. Stan Freezoid at your...
What are you reading? Eh, just catching up on my tariff and tax laws. For what? Well, you never know when you'll need to find another job. Polymus said you guys got company stock? Yep. Can I see it? You can have it. Oh, Peanut, that's incredibly generous of you. It's a fake. A fake? Don't spend it all in one place. Falcone's up to something. I can feel it. Peanut, are you ready to crack Falcone's plan wide open? I'm kind of reading here. Oh, okay. Uh, have you seen Bird Girl around? Utility closet. Thanks. Bird Girl! Shh! There are spies everywhere! There are spies in the utility closet? Isn't he always in here? Look, I think Falcone is selling off the company piece by piece and pocketing the money. I knew it. Yeah, I already have Inch High looking into it for me. Hmm. I need to get Falcone out of Phil's office for a little while. There are a few things I need from there. I can take care of that! For the be a bird girl, let's go! I mean, employees of 7 and 7. It's 317, so now it's time to, uh, to party! This is Judy, not Bird Girl. Party! <laughs> Party will pull Falcone out of his office, giving me a chance to snoop around. Yeah, I'd keep doing that. Volturo! Funny seeing you here. I was on my way to meeting Mother over at the Cheesecake Stockade. Well, it is my birthday, after all. Hey! What would you think about trying one case for seven and seven? <laughs> Laughable. You couldn't afford me. Well, uh, what would it take? Well, it is my birthday. After all, I'll ask all that I'll be there. Perhaps a present could persuade me. Hmm? Gift for me? How appropriately delightful. A bird man, you have yourself a deal. Really? That's it? Okay, go on up to the cafeteria.
Reducto. How did you get this number? You, uh, you gave it to me. Look, I, I know you're employed by Freezoid, but I was wondering, you know, uh, if you'd be interested in trying a case for 7 and 7? Interesting prospect. Joining forces, coming together, reducing the competition, giving everyone else the tiniest of chances. Well, sure. Here it is, Birdman. I will temporarily join your firm if you can show me something of minute interest. That's it? I will await in your office with anticipation. <gasps> oh, come on. What you doing in there? Am I glad to see you. I've been on stakeout for a while now as a favor to Bird Girl. You find anything? Yeah, I found these receipts. It appears that a blue Falcone recently purchased a hundred thousand tubes of Bronzolox tanning creme. These receipts might come in handy. Thanks. Hey, you mind coming with me? I need you for one more thing. Sure, but I ride in the coat pocket. So, hand it over. Do you have it? Hmm. Oh, right. You wanted something that I think would impress you. Missed it, buying it. What about this guy? He's really small. That thing again. He's so perfectly itsy bitsy. Get him out of my sight! You win, Birdman. I'll work on your case. Imbecile. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Imbecile. So, I hired Freezoid, Volturo, and Reducto for the case. Three of the best lawyers I could find. Just like you asked. It seems so strange that you would follow such orders. Well, you told me. I mean, for the firm. Exactly. While I am sitting here trying to run this firm, you are off padding your bank account with the dreams of our employees. Ah, uh, I think you're slightly confused here. Mm, not at all, Birdman. You are being charged with embezzling money from Seven and Seven. Embezzling? Yes. Stealing money from the firm. We have your current bank accounts, which prove this. We? The lawyers you just hired are for the case of Seven and Seven versus Birdman. We will see you in court! Psst, uh, guys, a three against one prosecution team? Against Birdman? <laughs> Hardly necessary. Your Honor, we've been hired to try Birdman on the grounds that he's been stealing money from Seven and Seven. Well, I'm innocent. Your call. Examination of the defendant. <laughs> so, Harvey, you declare your innocence, but let me declare the following evidence to the court. Your current bank statement and this invoice from a local auction house. Uh, Your Honor, this invoice was signed by a <coughs> Harvey Birdman and included all transactions made with the auction house. And this bank statement? It shows a larger-than-normal deposit made to Harvey Birdman's bank account. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, with this evidence we conclude that Birdman sold the items to be auctioned, depositing the <coughs> swollen earnings in his own...
turgid bank account where it grew very, very large indeed. Speak. Don't I get to examine the evidence? Why not? It might be your last time as a free man. Five minute break! Hmm, maybe I should let Reducto know that Blue Falcone isn't planning on paying any of them. Hello? Say, it's Harvey. Listen, I don't think Falcone is planning to pay any of you for this case. What? I... Wait a second. This is a trick, isn't it? Thought yourself clever, hey, Birdman? No, I just... Your plan failed, Birdman! But just to be sure, I will reduce this prosecution team to a more manageable size. Ah! Done! Uh, okay, I guess that works. You do realize that I'm innocent. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Innocent, guilty, somebody has to defend them. But I hired you. Yeah, I bet that's a whole kick in the pants for you. So, where is Falcone right now? What is it with you guys? It's like you're obsessed with each other. Freezoid, work for Falcone. Freezoid, prosecute Birdman. Freezoid, where's Falcone? And all the masks and the sidekicks, the whole thing is kind of sick. Freezoid, I feel I should warn you about Falcone. Okay, nice play, Harv, but stop. I know what you're doing. You do? You're trying to turn us against each other, stirring the pot up. Well, it's a good try, but uh, it's not going to work. But that wasn't what I was doing at all. Whatever. <laughs> but I will keep my eye on Reducto. Got him! And then there were two. All righty then, breaks over. Have any questions, Birdman? When is that statement from? Today, and not more than a few hours ago, actually. That must have been the bonus I got for hiring Freezoid, Reducto, and Volturo. Does the statement say the money came from this auction house? Actually, the deposit was made by 7 and 7, although the invoice from the auction house was also made to 7 and 7. Somehow you redirected the money to your account. All of this stuff you're talking about are crimes committed by Blue Falcone. Perhaps, but you are being tried right now. If you can prove your innocence, we can try Blue Falcone later. This invoice is so small, I, I, I can't read any of it. You have a problem with things that are small, Birdman? I just want to be able to read it. Oh, I can. This name signed at the bottom isn't mine. It says, Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul. Oh, does it now? And who would that be? Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul is a Spanish or Spanish-speaking person. Probably. Well, great job, Harvey. You've just narrowed it down to a few million people. Care to get any more vague? Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul is none other than Phil Ken Seven. Mastermind behind the disassembling of Seven and Seven. Actually, his name is just Phil Ken Seven. You want to randomly choose someone else? Senor Antonio de Rivera Garcia Azul is the full name of Blue Falcone. Names? Facts? What do they prove? Your Honor, I'd like to call Blue Falcone to the stand. Just need to reach out and grab him with mind takery. Add this file box to evidence. Do not touch my things. That is my stuff. Don't touch.
Please keep your hands off of my staff. Do not touch my thing. Does the prosecution want to examine the defendant? Is that me now? Uh, yes, bingo. About time. Whew. Prepare for a not-so-healthy slathering of justice. Tell the court what you've done since taking over 7 and 7. Of course. The first thing I did was look over the accounting records. I quickly noticed that 7 and 7 was heading towards bankruptcy. I made it my mission to keep the firm afloat by selling off some unused assets. I would hate for Mr. Field to come back from his vacation to a ruined empire. Harvey, beware the mind taker. Yeah, nothing looks out of place here. So, you admit to being the one that sold assets to the auction house? Yes, I do. I sold everything that I deemed useless. It was all just garbage collecting dust. No, that's it? Nothing else? Hmm. I would beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. Now I will lose my precious Gravitas! Whatever that is. So, you admit to being the one that sold assets to the auction house? Yes, I do. I sold everything that I deemed useless. It was all just garbage collecting dust. Well, I guess that does make some sense. So, would you consider copy machines, filing cabinets, desks, computers, and toilets as useless? Of course, if it means to save the firm. Sacrifices must be made! But how will we work in this kind of environment? That is why we must also make some pay cuts. Pay cuts? Who is getting a pay cut? Uh, so far, I have had to cut the pay of Potamus, Peanut, and Bird Girl. Everyone else has been laid off. But Peanut and Potamus seem content. Ah, see. Si. I supplemented their pay reduction with seven and seven stocks. In the end, all is fair. Is this what you are handing out? This fake stock certificate? Fake, you say? But I copied it from a real one. You crossed out Phil Seven and wrote in Peanut. Okay, let me try this one more time. I noticed that Seven and Seven was nearly bankrupt. By firing most of the staff, enforcing pay cuts, and selling useless assets, I managed to add some time before its demise. All of the money I have saved is going back into the firm to pay myself and keep personnel. I would beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. Harvey, beware the mind taker. So, just how much do you make during this crisis? Just enough to pay for a humble living and send some money to my family. And, uh, that's it? That is it! Yeah, nothing looks out of place here.
So, how do you explain these? Receipts detailing the purchase of 100,000 units of Bronzelux cream. Huh? Those? Well, you see, I, I just... Uh, I mean, what I was going to do was very simple. I... <sighs> Objection! Is all of this really necessary? All my client slash boss wants to do is keep the dreams of Seven and Seven alive. So maybe he bought a few tubes of this tanning creme. Is that a crime? It was a hundred thousand tubes! I agree. We don't know for certain where the money came from, and we have yet to determine a motive. Correct. Unless Birdman can reveal to the court why Blue Falcone would want to disassemble Seven and Seven, I'll have to request the case be thrown out. I was going to say that! Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But you already did! This is better than Sweeps Week! But I do have to agree with Stan. Harvey, you need to prove motive! I thought I did. I mean, he bought a hundred thousand tubes of tanning cream! Oh! You need to slam this case! So, how do you explain these? Receipts detailing the purchase of 100,000 units of Bronzelux cream! Huh? Those? Well, you see, I, I just... Uh, I mean, what I was going to do was very simple. I... <sighs> Objection! Is all of this really necessary? All my client slash boss wants to do is keep the dreams of Seven and Seven alive. So maybe he bought a few tubes of this tanning creme. Is that a crime? It was a hundred thousand tubes! I agree. We don't know for certain where the money came from, and we have yet to determine a motive. Correct. Unless Birdman can reveal to the court why Blue Falcone would want to disassemble Seven and Seven, I'll have to request the case be thrown out. I was going to say that! Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But you already did! This is better than Sweeps Week! But I do have to agree with Stan. Harvey, you need to prove motive! I thought I did. I mean, he bought a hundred thousand tubes of tanning cream! Oh! Birdman! We found the final piece of evidence you need to slam this case! This looks like plans for Blue Falcone to start his own tanning salon business. Ha! Ah, he was embezzling to get the funds to start his own company. This is preposterous. You cannot prove any of this. In fact, I have been in contact with Mr. Phil this whole time about the new 7 and 7 tanning salon. We have exchanged many emails and how do you say it, uh, ims? This whole law thing just does not have much of a future. You just made your final mistake. I can prove everything. Hopefully. Your plan was evil right from the start, Falcone. And worse, you threatened to harm innocent people. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, did you know that Bronzelux is toxic? It says so, right on the tube. All tanning cremes are toxic, Birdman. Uh... The plans for the tanning salon were approved and signed off on by none other than Blue Falcone. Yes, I am acting ahead of Seven and Seven. Who else would sign off on them? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Behold, this copy of Phil's vacation plans. It says right here that the island he's staying on doesn't have computers or telephones. So, there's no way to send him an instant message. Objection. No, let the birdman have his victory. You admit that you were the one selling off Seven and Seven for personal gain? Yes. You have defeated me honorably. I graciously turn myself over to the compassions of the court. But why do all of this to Seven and Seven? Hmm? Oh, I wanted to make a lot of money quickly and be my own boss. It's not that hard to figure out. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Look at you, Birdman, winning a case. Now everybody out! I've got rehearsal tonight with the band. So that just about does it. Way to go, Birdman. It makes me proud to be a member of the Bird Team. Uh, yeah. Me too. Me too! See, si, me too. <laughs> <laughs>
trouble in the tropics. I have to sell everything to make money fast. Ha <laughs> ha! Liquid assets. Seriously, you're all fired. 